So the topic for today is HDMI cables and the THX program for certifying their performance. Uh, I'd like to start with kind of a basic, a basic outline of what HDMI is and what an HDMI cable needs to convey. Now, um, uh, Kevin, you sent us a couple of pictures uh, to yep. illustrate this particular point. So why don't you begin? Sure, sure. So if you can pull up that first image, it gives you at least the sort of pin out of what the HDMI connector is. So what HDMI is, is basically just a digital interface that sends audio, video, and all the ancillary control information as well. So it's sort of the extension of DVI, and it's, it's given you the best sort of high quality picture you can get. Um, so on there, there's 19 pins, and it's basically broken up into three different groups. So there's high speed, which is really where the video, the audio, and all that control information lives. There's low speed, which is where the EDID read and writes happen, and also the uh, HTCP encryption. And then there's the, the low speed, or the DC power, which is really around uh, power up. That gives it the 5 volts and does the hot plug detect. So those are sort of the three components. So we can see in more detail on the next image just sort of how those actually play out and what, what happens within the HDMI connector, and, and this sort of falls into some of the issues that happen. So you can see that the, uh, the image doesn't necessarily show as nicely as it did before, but the, the, I think the text is black. But the top pin is the, the 5 volts, so the, basically the, there's a power-up sequence that HDMI requires. So 5 volts goes from the source to the sink, and that basically tells the sink that there's something trying to talk to it. It will send a hot plug detect back, and then that is what, tell, that is what triggers the, uh, the EDID write, EDID write, as well as the HTCP. And then once everything's all certified and the encryption's there and everybody's happy, then the data starts flowing. So it's, hmm. there's, a, there's a regimented process to actually make that happen that happens within the connector. And then is, that called, is, that, is that process of starting up, is that what we refer to as handshaking? That's right, exactly. Okay. Um, it seems to me that you know, when you start something up, it, it does take a little while. It takes a few seconds anyway. Is, is that typical? Yeah, I think it's partly the the HTCP as well, just because the HTCP is at a slower speed, and there's just it's not an instantaneous uh, on and off switch because the TV needs to make sure that the encryption's there. So sometimes what might happen is you actually rarely now, but you'll actually have a screen pop up and it'll be all static, and then all of a sudden it'll lock in. And that's because initially the HTCP didn't necessarily have the read writes correct, and then all of a sudden it locks in and says, "Yep, this is a viable TV," and then it starts sending out the data. And let's let's make sure everybody understands all of this. Uh alphabet soup you've been throwing about here. H <laughs> HDCP stands for? So it's the high definition content protection. So that's the, basically anything that's Hollywood produced, it has the encryption in there. So that way you can't have unprotected data going over an HDMI cable. So you can't steal it, in other words. I exactly. 